Hi there, I'm Chaba and welcome to day 5 of the Proven Ads Breakdown Challenge that I'm doing for 90 days. And today I have something very meta for you because we're going to look at an ad written by a famous copywriter and the contents of the ad itself is breaking down a hundred good advertising headlines and why they were so profitable. So it's really kind of an advanced thing. Uh, but it's really useful because headlines are one of the most powerful, if not the most powerful things in any ad, in any sales letter. And by analyzing a bunch of good headlines that have worked decades ago, basically, we can learn a lot from them. What made them work, uh, how they were so, so successful, and what can you extract from them or even use them as swipes in your own copy, in your own marketing campaigns or funnels or landing pages or sales pages or video sales letters. So uh, just a little uh, recap of what this whole thing is about, this specific ad. It was written by uh, Victor Schwab. And Victor Schwab is uh, one of those, those legendary copywriters that every, every good copywriter reads about. Uh, and he was especially strong on headlines. So uh, he... He created a lot of uh, good content on, on writing good headlines and he has some really good books as well. Uh, and since he, this was his, one of his actually unique selling propositions, let's say, uh, he, he once made an ad advertising his services to people by basically giving away tons of value uh, about what's behind 100 good advertising headlines. And this is a really strong lesson that we can immediately get a lot from, namely that you want to make your advertisement itself valuable. And Gary Ben Savenga, who I covered before in one of the videos, uh, was very big on this to always give a ton of value away, even in your sales materials, because nobody really wants to read an ad. They want to read something that interests them. And sometimes that's an ad. Sometimes it's not an ad, but nobody explicitly wants to read an ad itself. So um, I'm going to include this PDF, by the way, under the video. You can check it out yourself. It's really, it's like a th it's like 7,000 words, actually. So it's basically just two pages. Uh, but as you can see, and my computer is actually acting up with this. Uh, so it's only two pages. It was running in, in, a, in a newspaper, I guess. Uh, but it's, it's re it has really small uh, fonts and it's like one, two, three, four, uh, six columns. So and even more in some places. So it's really overkill in a way. But I encourage you to, to read it in your spare time and only hand copy the, uh, the, ad, the headlines themselves if you want to hand copy this because uh, it's just too much otherwise. And there's, there's a bunch of explanation under each headline. So I won't really go into much detail uh, here. Uh, but I just want to give you a quick overview of it, maybe highlight a few of the headlines that I really like, why I think they work. Uh, but if you read this, then you'll get a lot of value from it. So this video is going to be probably a bit shorter, uh, but I don't really want to like stress you before the weekend. This is something um, still super important and super powerful that you can reference later on anytime you want to make a, a, a marketing campaign. Uh, but but it's something more fun, I think, as well. So we have headlines here. For example, the secret of making people like you. Again, secrets. People just love secrets. Russell Brunson is big on secrets uh, with his ClickFunnels stuff. Uh, it still works. It's a bit overused now, but it still works. Um, a little mistake that can cost a farmer 3000 a year. Uh, again, what's the little and with what, what is the mistake? And uh, am I that type of farmer? Uh, maybe, maybe is it causing me to, to lose more than $3,000? What's up with that? So even though a bunch of these headlines are quite old and you'll notice how, you know, they were written for different audiences that we have nowadays, but the structure itself and the persuasiveness itself still applies. You can still take uh, one of these headlines and, and easily... Uh, Modify it to suit your specific situation. Advice to wives whose husbands don't save money, buy a wife. So this is this is strong because we have the advice. People want to want to learn insider stuff. They want to learn advice as well. They don't necessarily want to learn it, but they want to discover it. 
uh, and this is a pain point for, for that market. And at the end, by saying buy a wife, that just gives credibility, that just gives uh, proof to the whole uh, headline. And all throughout these headlines, you always want to make sure that you have a promise as well. And, and most of these headlines are about you. So one of the most powerful words in advertising is the word you, because we want to make it not about us, but about the, the ideal customer, the ideal prospect itself. And uh, by explicitly saying you, or by assuming that it's something that you can get a lot of value out of, that's super powerful. But we also want to back up this promise with a proof. And in this case, or like a unique mechanism or, or, or something new. And in this case, buy a wife immediately lends it credibility because it seems more credible because she knows what she's talking about. Uh, the child who won the hearts of all. So again, this was very, this was a big pain point for that specific audience. And it still is, I guess, I'm not a parent yet, but uh, you know, when your child starts acting up in front of other people, it's embarrassing. And, uh, you know, people, parents will definitely be interested in discovering how they can have a child that, that everybody will love and that also respects uh, positively on them. Are you ever tongue-tied at a party? Again, this is a common pain point that most people uh, struggle with. And, uh, and by asking it in this way, this type of question... Uh, people want to find out, like, am I the type of person? Am I not? Am I better than others? Am I worse than others? I want to find out. How a new discovery made a plain girl beautiful. Again, this, this I, uh, headline might seem sexist now, but these, these headlines, at least this compilation of headlines, was written, I think, in 1953. So it's like almost 70 years old. But, but most of these would still work. And you know what? Actually, you know, this specific ad, to my knowledge, isn't really that well-known. Like, a bunch of famous headlines are well-known. Well a bunch of proven ads are well-known that we're going to hand copy or we're going to analyze. But this isn't really that well-known. So if you use something from this and you modify it to today's audience, uh, actually, you can gain a competitive advantage from this because uh, nobody else uses it. Everybody else is using trendy headlines that are... They are happening nowadays, you know, all over the internet. Um, how do we influence and influence people? This is a, a very famous headline, probably one of the most famous headlines. It just works because of the how-to element and the two uh, quick benefits that people want. The last two hours are the longest, and those are the two hours you save. Uh, this was actually, this was selling uh, aviation services. Uh, to people, so this was run by an ad by uh, uh, an airline whose planes were faster, and they noticed that you know, up until some time, people can easily to tolerate a flight, but after some time, after a few hours, every new hour, uh, every additional hour, beca becomes a pain in the ass, and it becomes harder and harder to bear. And uh, it was a really, really good ad that uh, pulled in a lot of, lot of cash. Who else wants a screen star figure? Again, this who else wants, this is a famous headline structure, and it still works. You can still use it with something like that. Uh, obviously, this was aimed at women because this was re really important to them. It still is. It might not be always PC to, to, uh, to say this, but it still is. And uh, by saying who else, it assumes that there's a trend happening there. It assumes that a lot of women have managed to crack the code on this. And, uh, and, and let's say I'm the target audience here. I want to know this because, because there's, there might be something that I'm missing, a little secret, and I want to learn the secret of other, of other successful people. Do you make these mistakes in English? This is also a famous one. Uh, and uh, you can see again how the do you make these is very powerful, and especially the word these because if you were to say do you make mistakes in English then it would be a yes or a no question it would be like yeah sure I mean everybody makes mistakes in English I make ton tons of mistakes in English but even native English speakers would say this uh, but by including these it assumes that there are certain mistakes that I now want to find out it's the hook you know uh, that, that that makes it really powerful why some foods explode in your stomach? 
This is really interesting. First of all, it has a Y element, so it's like a powerful bullet. And you can notice how, you know, most of these headlines could act as really, really powerful bullets, as really powerful fascinations, because they create a bunch of uh, 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 intrigue in people. They want to find out what, what these foods are. Like, how could you not want to find out what foods explode in your stomach? And it's very graphic. I like it how it, sh it, it, it shows it. It doesn't tell. It show, don't tell uh, in, in practice here. And also the sum foods. So are there like many foods that explode? Uh, what are the foods that, that, that explode? Am I eating those? Uh, am I the lucky ones who aren't eating those? What do you mean by explode? So there's a bunch of stuff happening here, but it's a single big idea. And I, and I really like this one. Hence that look uh, lovelier in 24 hours or your money back. This is a, a another format that's that's quite uh, popular, but it still works because it has basically a strong promise, a strong specific promise in a in a short time frame because everybody wants instant gratification, and it has a big proof element or your money back. So people will feel like they just can't lose, and this would be really powerful for a, a direct offer. You can laugh at many. You can laugh at money worries if you follow this simple plan. Again, this is uh, this is a format that Gary Bensavenga talked about. Uh, it's basically an if-then, just reverse, and it can really be powerful because um, it's the possibility for for attaining a high-level benefit that people want if they do something. It's like Give me five minutes and I'll give you uh, a push button memory. Uh, or give me 20 minutes and I give you a push button memory. Uh, this was actually a famous headline and it works on the same principle. It has like a, if you give me this time, if you invest this time, I will give you a, a benefit that you're interested in. And it works the same way and it's really powerful. Why some people almost always make money in the stock market. This again is a headline that I really like. It's just so powerful because it has the why element. So we want to find out why. It has the sum element, which is really powerful because some people. So does that mean that there's like an elite group of people who know something that I don't know about? And who's the other people? Am I group of the other? Am I part of the other people? Or am I part of the some people? I want to know because I want to immediately qualify myself against everybody else. Uh, almost always, this is also really important because if if we were to say always make money, it makes it seem incredible, too incredible. But almost always, uh, it just makes everything more credible because it assumes that not everybody can do that. But then again, people start asking, okay, so if I'm part of this group, would I be able to make money from the stock market? So it's really, really powerful. When doctors feel rotten, this is what they do. This is just a strong pattern interrupt. And also like doctors, they, they're the poster child of credibility and proof. You know, whenever we think doctor, we think about someone who knows a lot of stuff, who's uh, like uh, very knowledgeable and who can solve big problems for us. It, it lends an aura of credibility. Uh, and then by, by saying even doctors can get sick and when they get sick, this is what they do. So it's really powerful to basically find out what those things might be. Um, let's see another one. Five familiar skin troubles. Which do you want to overcome? Very powerful. It has specifics. It has five. Familiar. It means that most people uh, have, like, most people know about these or they have experience with it. Uh, and then by saying which do you want to overcome, we it, it assumes that you might have something, and it's really powerful. I'm sure that by the, by this time you might have noticed that um, something that might happen, something that maybe is true, maybe it's not true, is oftentimes more powerful than than saying something that this is totally true or this is totally not true. Uh, this type of um, of, of, of mysteriousness and this type of maybe yes, maybe not creates an internal um, an 
in an internal, um, how should I say, like little thing inside you that wants to burst out and you want to discover whether this is true or not. Uh, and it just, uh, it just, it's really powerful. Uh, just read this thing here and you understand why. Uh, which of these two uh, two point five dollars to five dollars best sellers do you want for only one dollar each again very powerful because it's a direct offer but it seems like an irresistible offer because it assumes that you're gonna get a bargain no matter which one you choose it presupposes that you want to choose something that's why it says which of these instead of saying do you want because if by saying do you want you know it's a yes or no question but this way it's like oh I didn't know that there was such a such a good offer. Uh, so let's see, you know, what can I choose uh, for only one dollar each? And also the each at the end, I like it because uh, it assumes that you want to buy more. So it might, it probably increases average order value, which even in those days was were really was really powerful. How I improve my memory in one evening? It's just like how to have friends and influence people but a time element with it. So it's basically a how-to. And even though it talks about me, so it's, it's from my perspective, it still assumes a, a, a you-focused benefit. So after someone reads this, uh, he's going to internalize this and he's going to think like, okay, so, so I want to improve my memory in one evening. Let's see how I can do that. Discover the fortune that lies hidden in your salary. This, ju this does just... Basically, um, it's a promise. It's a it's a type of secret. Like, what fortune do I have hidden in my salary? It basically assumes that I can I can uh, make even more out of my hard earned money. It's kind of like an investment type of thing. Doctors prove two out of three women can have more beautiful skin in fourteen days. Again, something really powerful, and I really like the description here. Women want it. Why two out of three? Am I one of the two? Uh, how have doctors proved it? Quick results are what I want. Only 14 days, how can I not want it? So again, this, this is a good example of how, you know, a good headline, in a good headline, every single word counts. And you want to ruthlessly cut out every single additional word that, do that doesn't give value to the headline itself. But this... There's no words that we can cut from this headline. Everything is needed. Everything is needed to achieve the, the effectiveness of the headline that it has. It has the time element. It has the specific. It has the can, can have. So it's like, again, it doesn't guarantee, but it, uh, it assumes that there's a big payoff here. And again, doctors. So doctors lends uh, an aura of credibility here. How I made a fortune with a fool idea. This is a pattern interrupt. It's a paradox. Like, how can you get, how can you be successful by being a fool? What's a fool idea? Uh, it's just, it, it, it shocks people. It grabs attention. And that's what a good headline should do. Whose fault when children disobey? Again, this goes back to the other headline that we mentioned a few minutes ago by uh, talking about good children. This is the, the complete opposite. Like parents feel ashamed when, when their, their ch children act up. They have tantrums, for example, in front of others. And then whose fault is it? Like, and is it my fault? Should it be my fault? How can I make it not my fault? How can I just erase the whole uh, negative situation from my life? Something like that. So it's powerful. How a fool stunt made me a star salesman. Again, uh, what is the fool stunt like? How can it make me a good salesman? Uh, it's, it's, a, it's an interesting promise with a twist to it. Have you these symptoms of nerves ex nerve exhaustion? Um, people just want to find out. Am I someone who's struggling with this? I didn't know that there's something called nerve exhaustion. Uh, I didn't know it was common. So do I have it or do I not? Do you see the, the pattern here? Like most headlines, they have strong curiosity but they also have a benefit and sometimes they tease something new or a new mechanism or a unique mechanism or uh, a unique selling proposition or something 
either way, it's really powerful to just suck people in. And the only thing you want your headline to do, you don't want it, you don't want it to like do everything, but you only want it to suck people in for a few seconds so that they start reading your copy. And then if your hook is good, if your lead is good, then they'll they'll uh, slide deeper and deeper down on the slippery slope. And that's what you want until they land on the call to action. How a new kind of clay improved my complexion in 30 minutes. Again, it has it all. It has a how, it's a new kind, so it, it presupposes there's a new mechanism here. Uh, improve my complexion, that's the benefit. In 30 minutes, that's the uh, time element. So it, it assumes that um, it can be done quickly and people are after quick results, always, almost always. Uh, but this headline, the, the uh, 30 second one, contrasts this a little bit because it says 161 new ways to a man's heart in this fascinating book for cooks. Uh, it's very specific. It has a benefit that people want and it has like the, uh, the unique mechanism element as well because it says in this fascinating book for cooks and it also qualifies people because this is for cooks. Uh, and if you haven't noticed by now, this whole ad that we're analyzing here is the same structure that this one. It's 100 good advertising headlines and why they were so profitable. It's the same thing. So uh, I'm not, probably not going to like analyze everything here for now. Uh, you, can, you can read it yourself if you want. It's a good reading for the weekend, for example. But it's really powerful and I really invite you to reference this later on as well. Save this. And reference it later because whenever you want to write a headline, uh, it's it can really be uh, like hard to come up, and it's like uh, imposter syndrome and uh, perfectionism and blank page blank page syndrome all uh, surface whenever you want to write a headline because that's the most important part of any ad or any sales letter or any video. And uh, by referencing this, uh, just you know skimming through it, you'll definitely get a good a bunch of good ideas. That you can, it will just uh, get your juices flowing, and that's what you want because then you know the writing itself becomes much easier. So I hope that you enjoyed this video as well. If you did, leave a like below and also a comment because I want to know which which one of these headlines is your favorite. Let me know because uh, everybody has their own preferences, and I I respond to every comment that I see. I'm really glad if someone's following along. Uh, and some people are actually saying that this is so, this whole challenge is so inspiring to them that they're also starting their own challenges, their own, like they want to tweet a day challenge, or like they also want to handwrite these things together with me. So it's really humbling for me. Uh, and I would love to, I would love for this to reach more people. But in order to do that, you know, we also need to give some love to the YouTube algorithm. And the YouTube algorithm wants more likes, more shares, more comments, uh, more average watch time. Um, but that's the way YouTube works.